In this video, we're going to take a look at the knobs add-on in Storybook. This add-on allows you to edit props dynamically using the Storybook UI. Let's understand how the add-on works with an example. First step, install the add-on. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add d at Storybook slash add-on hyphen knobs. Once the installation is done, we can add it to the add-ons array in main.js. Add storybook slash add-on hyphen knobs. Second step, we need to add the width knobs decorator in preview.js. So at the last, add decorator with knobs and import it at the top. Import with knobs from storybook slash add-on hyphen knobs. Third step, we incorporate the add-on into a story. So in chakra button stories, at the top, we are going to import two things from knobs add-on, text and boolean. What these do is they allow us to specify props that are of type boolean or text. And we will see those props in just a minute. I'm going to create a new story. So at the bottom, export const, and I'm going to call this knobs, is going to be equal to an arrow function. We are going to return a button. But this time, when specifying the button text, we're going to use the text import from the knobs add-on. Text is basically a function which takes two parameters. The first one is the name of the prop that the add-on must display. And the second parameter is the initial value for that prop. We specify label as the prop name and button label as the initial value. At the same time, I'm also going to add a second prop on the button component, disabled. Instead of hard coding true or false, we are again going to make use of the knobs add-on. Since disabled is a boolean value, we are going to use the boolean import. The label again is going to be disabled and the initial value is false. Let's now save all the files, run the command yarn storybook and head to the browser. Right away, you can see that we now have a knobs panel next to the actions panel. If I select the chakra button and the knobs story, you can see that we have two knobs. In fact, I want this button to have a color. So I'm going to specify variant color is equal to purple. All right, now you can see that we have two knobs. The first one is disabled and the second one is label. This corresponds to the first argument of Boolean and text functions. The two knobs have an initial value of false and button label respectively. The Boolean value is represented by an unticked checkbox and the text value is represented by an input field. If I now check the checkbox, the disabled prop becomes true and the button is now disabled. If I change the button label to something else, the same is reflected in the canvas. So this is how the knobs add-on allows you to edit props dynamically using Storybook UI. This is a really useful add-on to allow both developers and stakeholders to understand the component look and feel in different scenarios. A very practical use case is if you support multiple languages in your application. A component might work fine when the text is small, but when it's translated to a different language where the text takes up a larger amount of space, the component might break in the UI. The text might overflow or you might have undesirable results. 
So Knobs add-on really helps you with a lot of testing in the UI. Now similar to Boolean and text, there are a few more functions that the add-on provides, but I will leave that for you guys to explore. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.